Joey Fatone. It's time to play Family Feud. Give it up for Steve. Hey, welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. We got a good one for you today. We got the Varela family. <laughs> Get it on. Give me Rosie. Give me Terry. Let's go. <laughs> Folks, here we go. We got the top six answers on the board. Name something a busty woman might pull out of her cleavage. Rosie. Money. Okay. Money. Definitely gonna play. You definitely should. <laughs> yeah. Gigi, how you doing? Great, how are you? Name something a busty woman might pull out of her cleavage. Uh, how about a tissue? A tissue? Okay. A tissue! <laughs> Petra? Petra. Petra. Yes. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice to meet you. Peter, Petra. <laughs> Name something a busty woman might pull out of her cleavage. Keys. Keys! Good answer. <laughs> Keys! <laughs> Emily, Hello. how you doing? Good. Good. What do you do? Um, I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I work mean, in the lab in the okay. hospital. You know, we all got him in our family. You know, I got a cousin. I promise you he can't tell you what he do. You do urine samples, don't you? <laughs> Emily named something a busty woman might pull out of her cleavage. Cell phone. What? The cell phone. <laughs> you got a cell phone in there. That's, that's pretty busty right there. Rocky, what's happening, man? How you doing, man? How you doing? Good, great, great. Good, good, good. What do you do? Uh, I used to be a professional baseball player. Now I'm an electrician. So what's your claim to fame? What do you, what uh, you, what's your big moment? They call me up in spring training to play against uh, Texas Rangers. Yeah. And it was a major league game. And I get- Major league. <laughs> yes. A lot of people at the house just went. Yes. It was a major league game. Major league. Major, major league. Major, major. All right, Rocky Man, name me something a busty woman might pull out of her cleavage. I would have to say a little purse where she keeps A little change. purse. <laughs> Pull out that little pocketbook. <laughs> hey, we got two strikes, Rosie. A phone number. A phone number. To give to a guy. To give to a guy. At a bar. At a bar. Yep. Wow, so you would just keep them, like, jammed down in there? Yeah, you know. So you ain't got to write it out, just scoop yeah, it out? exactly. OK, good. <laughs> Pull out the phone number for the guy at the bar. <laughs> A midget, too. A midget. Tiffany? I mean, Terry? I'm sorry. You good. Terry? Yeah. <laughs> Name something a busty woman might pull out of her cleavage. We're gonna have to go with cigarettes, Steve. Okay, let's just go right there. Cigarettes! <laughs> yeah. Let's see number six. Anderson. Number four. Number two. Ooh, <laughs> hey, let's go to question two. Give me Gigi. Give me Tiffany. Let's go. Okay, top seven answers are on the board. We asked 100 women, name something that most men do not do as well as they think they do. <laughs> Tiffany. Wipe themselves when they use the restroom. <laughs> themselves. Thank you, God. <laughs> Gigi? Okay. Um, I would say have a baby. 
A man can't do that. <laughs> Kevin, play sports. Play sports. Yes. Petra. Yes. Kiss. Kiss. Woo! Yes. Kiss. <laughs> You're gonna pass the play. You're gonna play. All right, let's go. We ask 100 women, name something that most men do not do as well as they think they do. Cooking. Good answer. Cooking! <laughs> what do you do? Go outside. You play basketball on your breaks? <laughs> I should. I probably should. We ask 100 women, just name something that most men do not do as well as they think they do. Clean up. Clean up! strikes, man. Give me something that most men do not do as well as they think they do. Have sex. They do not, yeah. <laughs> Have sex! <laughs> Ain't your problem, no, is it, no, T? No, no way, no, no way, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany? Being a father. Being a father, whatever. That's good, yeah. <laughs> Being a father! Yeah, good. Yeah. Only one strike, Kevin. I'm gonna have to go with, uh... Oh. Uh, three seconds. Dang. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we got two strikes. If it's there, Latanya, you're still alive. If it's not there, the Varela family can get ready to steal. We ask 100 women, name something that most men do not do as well as they think they do. Eat right. They don't eat right. Yeah. They don't eat right! <laughs> Rosie, give me something that most men do not do as well as they think they do. All men think they're good drivers. <laughs> Driving! <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Number two. This means more. Well, remember the goal is 300 points, so don't go away. We'll be right back, folks. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Varela family, 128. Wise family not on the board. Give me Petra. Give me Tevin. Let's go. Okay, folks, here we go. Uh, point values are double on this one. We got the top five answers on the board. Name something associated with Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Her booty. Her booty? <laughs> Pass or play? We're playing. We're playing. <laughs> Something associated with Jennifer Lopez. Her music. Her music. <laughs> Rocky, give me something associated with Jennifer Lopez. I would like to say movies. Yeah, yeah movies. Yeah. Movies. Yeah. That was a good answer. She's in a lot of wedding plan, all the movies. Wow. Rosie? Her husband, Mark Anthony. Her husband, Woo! Mark Anthony. Yeah. Only one strike, Gigi. Give me something associated with Jennifer Lopez. Her clothes. Her clothes. <laughs> Slow this down a little bit. We got two strikes here. American Idol. Yeah. American Idol. Yeah. I would have never thought of that. <laughs> Very good. Very good answer. One answer left, Emily. P. Diddy. Okay. He, he did it, Puff Daddy. Oh, he did it, Puff no. Daddy, okay. Sean Combs. <laughs> he did it. He did it, Puff Daddy. Oh. 
Right, baby. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. You're not coming out of that huddle with a lot of confidence, Terry. It's only no, your chance to steal. One answer left. Name something associated with Jennifer Lopez. Hispanic. She's Hispanic. She's Hispanic. Hispanic. <laughs> Number five. Find out who wins this thing right after this. The Gorilla family, 268. The Wise family not on the board. Give me Emily. Give me Latanya. Let's go. Ah, point values are triple here, ladies. This is a big one. Top four answers are on the board. Name an article of women's clothing. Latanya. <laughs> Name an article of women's clothing that a man might have trouble removing. A bra. A bra! <laughs> uh, they're gonna play. Play, play! Uh, I think this could do it if we get there. So, Rocky, let's go, man. Name an article of women's clothing that a man might have trouble removing. I said the underwear. I, I heard something. <laughs> Let's see the other way. It's up there. <laughs> Rosie, no strikes. Name an article of women's clothing that a man might have trouble removing. I'm going to say with her shirt, buttons, her shirt. Her shirt. <laughs> Gigi. How about her shoes? Her shoes. <laughs> oh, Petra, back on you again. Two strikes. If it's not there, the other team can steal and we go to sudden death. Her pants. Her <laughs> pants. <laughs> Wise family, let me give you the facts. Real simple. If it's there, you steal, we go to sudden death. If it's not there, the Varela family wins the game. Terry, give me an article of women's clothing that a man might have trouble removing. Steve, we're going to go with stockings. Stockings! <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Nobody reached 300 points. So we're gonna play Sudden Death. Give me Rocky. Give me BJ. <laughs> this ought to be good. We got two athletes here, folks. Top answers on the board. If you get this answer, you win the game. Name something people worry might break down. BJ. Car. The car. Great spirit, and you're pretty too. I enjoy it. Thank you for coming. Wow, good family. Wow. I need two players to play fast money. Wow. Well, we'll be back. We're going to see if they can get $20,000 right after this. We're playing fast money, folks. Wow. The wise man that won the game, and it's time to play. Fast money. Hey, Tiffany. Before we get started, here's your children. They're going to wish you luck. You can do it, you guys. We have faith in you. We got the money. Bye. Bye. We love, love you. you. OK, Tiffany, Terry's off stage. He can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. If we have enough time, we'll get back to it. And then if you and Terry together somehow manage to come up with 200 points, look right there, tell everybody what you're going to win. You okay? I am. Okay. <laughs> Sound like you had a little... You know, a... $3,000. Three thousand dollars. Okay. 
Okay, you ready? I am. All right, 20 seconds on the clock, okay. please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Okay. Besides tomatoes, name something people grow in their vegetable garden. Watermelon. Name an average hip measurement for women. 36. Name a farm animal some people have as pets. Cow. Name something a man reaches for in the middle of the night. Condoms. Name something found in a manicure set. Nails. Okay. Come on, Tiffany, let's go. You gave some good answers. Let's see how they did. I said, besides tomatoes, name something people grow in their vegetable garden. You said? Watermelon. Survey oh. said? Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I said, name the average hip measurement for women. You said? 36. 24. 36. What a win in hand. That's Brick House. Commodore. Survey said? I said, name a farm animal some people have as pets. You said? The cow. Survey said? I said, the name something a man reaches for in the middle of the night. You startled the entire nation by blurting this one out. You said? Condoms. Well, okay. Some, I know, I, I know. Some do. Some do, yes, yeah. and, and most should. They should. <laughs> Survey said. <laughs> that said, name something found in a manicure set. You said. The nail. Survey said. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do with it. Come on out, Terry. You got it, Terry? Yes, sir. That's good, because you're going to need it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you, you need 163 points. 163 points. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, it would be the most shocking thing we've ever heard. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. If you do duplicate one of these answers, you'll hear this sound. <laughs> don't even worry, but you ain't a chance. <laughs> then you'll give another answer, and then it's going to be a little bit tougher this time, Terry, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's remind everyone of Tiffany's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> clock is going to start after I read the first question. <clears throat> Besides tomatoes, name something people grow in their vegetable garden. Cucumbers. Name an average hip measurement for women. Six. Name a farm animal some people have as pets. Pigs. Name something a man reaches for in the middle of the night. His phone. Name something found in a manicure set. Fingernail polish. Okay. <laughs> I said, besides tomatoes, name something people grow in their vegetable garden. You said. Cucumber, survey said. Yeah. Cucumbers was the number one answer. I said, name the average hip measurement for women. You said six. You like them slim, huh, player? <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> Sur survey said. <laughs> number one answer, 36. I said, name a farm animal some people have as pets. You said a pig. Survey said 16. I said, name something a man reaches for in the middle of the night. You said phone. Survey said spouse or mate was the number one answer. And when I said name a farm animal some people have as pets, the number one answer for that was horse. Horse. You've got 85 points. You're going to have to play about three games to get that. <laughs> but let's take a shot at it, baby. Go at it. Name something found in a manicure set. You said? Nail polish. Survey said? <laughs> Number one answer, a nail file. A nail file. $5 a point, total of $510. But they're coming back. They're going to face another family right here on the queue. So we'll see you next time, folks. I'm Steve Harvey.